Hello, this is going to be a tutorial on how to make a sort of iPod asset on Affinity Photo. So first you're going to start with your shape tool and you're going to go to rectangle. Um, I'm going to show you how to make an iPod. So we're going to do sort of a long rectangle shape. We're going to make this iPod green. So you're going to go to your top left and you're going to go fill and you're going to make it green. I'm going to make it a pastel green. I'm going to center this so that it's easier for me to center everything. Then you're going to go to corner right here, go to rounded. Um, I usually go for a low number, so I'm going to put 7 here. Actually, 7 might be a bit too low. I'm going to go for 10. And so we have our basic shape for our iPod. Next, we're going to go to our ellipse tool and we're going to make a circle. So make sure you press Control. Um, alt shift to make your circle perfectly symmetrical um, and we're going to just put that down and we're going to make this white um, an easier way to do this is you can also go to the donut tool and make a shape like that and edit it however you want which i'm actually going to do because i don't want to show you the long way so we're going to use the donut tool and we're going to Edit that to how we like. Um, okay, that's weird. And we have that. Next, we're going to take this, we're going to control C, control V, and then we're going to make a smaller square for the screen, and we're going to fill that with black, like that. And so now we have the basic shape of an iPod. Next, we're going to focus on making the, the circle shape. So inside the iPod, we have a pause and play button in the center of it, which I'm going to make right now. So we're going to go to the triangle tool. And as I said again, control shift alt, we make a triangle shape. Um, on some of the references I've seen, this uh, shape is usually colored like a light gray. So I'm going to use a light gray. Turn it around. And you can just edit the shape a little bit. And that's what I have. Uh, let me open up one second. Okay. So here's a reference here that I have. So let me see how I did this. So I just did pause, play, forward, backward. I mean backward forward and then minus plus so here we go we're gonna do this then we're gonna get the rectangle tool and we're gonna make two small rectangles the same height as our play button which we'll see control V um, I think I'm gonna have them touching like that did, it, did I move this one yep I did on accident and we're just going to line them up the top and bottom and boom which looks right yep sorry these are not supposed to be gray these are supposed to be white i mean you can have them any color you want um to change the color really quick select the select the layers by clicking shift clicking them and then going to your shape tool fill and you can just do that you can also press Control shift alt on those and you can resize them however you please. Next, I'm going to just select one of these, Control v and I'm going to just put them up here. This time, I'm actually going to make them gray. And this is going to be the sort of skeleton for a, our plus button. So Control alt Control. so you have symmetrical symmetry on one way. I'm going to make it a bit shorter. Control C, Control V, then click Shift, then twist 90 degrees, and you have a plus button. This plus button is not really what I want. So I'm going to put that 78 pixels. Um, to make my life easier, I'm just going to delete the one that's not the right size. Shift 90 degrees or 0 degrees. And we have a plus button. The Control C, Control V, the one that's laying flat. And we put that on the bottom as a minus button. Next, we control C, control V this again. We move it to the center 
of the circle and we control c control v this triangle because we're lazy and we put it to this side which then we're going to swatches and we're going to make that now on my reference you put two triangles in one line but i'm kind of lazy and don't feel like doing that so control c control v um and you're gonna flip them to the direction that they are on so like right here this one's pointing left and this one's pointing right we're gonna do that real quick this one's already pointing in the right direction but this one isn't so we're gonna transform and we're gonna flip horizontal um and that's how you kind of make the circle of an ipod next uh make sure you make these corners a little bit smaller so it looks a little bit uni more uniform so we're going to control c control v we're going to make this shape a little bit smaller and then we're going to go to the layer style and we're going to erase and now it's transparent so anything you put behind this um will show up and i'm going to show you how to put a picture there if you want next let's make it 3d so we're going to start here actually let me make this a little bit smaller before we continue so it looks a little bit more in sync okay so we're going to go to the white circle that we made in the beginning we're going to go to layer effects and we're going to go to bevel and emboss we're going to change the type and we're going to put inner we're going to increase the radius we're going to go to multiply right here which is the shadow and we're going to go and turn down this so it's a lot more lighter and pastel we're going to change the direction to around 90 um any elevation but around 90 um with an elevation of 50 that should work and that's how you kind of get this next we're going to select by clicking with shift on all the objects that we just made and to make life easier we're going to click the group layer button and it automatically groups it so now we can do bubble and emboss and this time we can just do whichever you want i think i used emboss yes i used emboss i used emboss in my example but you can do whatever one you want it is your graphic you could do inner you could do outer you can do pillow pillow looks great but i use emboss i tone it down quite a bit so you barely see it uh do the kind of the same angle as we did as previously and turn down the shadow a little bit like that um, and we can do and we can control C so we select the group with the layer effects control C then we can go to the triangle here we can also group it and we can do a cool little shortcut we go to edit and paste FX Never mind. Sometimes paste effects doesn't work. Paste special? No. Paste style? It's kind of buggy. So I'm just going to do the pillow. But sometimes you can you can work that. Um, same thing applies. Or no. I did in boss. Lower the radius. And boom. You have your buttons. Next, um, this is kind of how to do it. I did Control C, Control V on the rounded rectangle of the green. We're gonna go to Styles. Um, I don't know if Affinity Photo still has these styles, but hopefully it does. And I go to Aluminum, um, so we get a more metallic look on the iPod. And this is how they did it. They just did a gradient with a lot of noise so boom i think it's gray with a little bit less noise and then a black with a lot of noise so if that isn't in your affinity photo let me just show you how to do it real quick so control c control v gradient here we have gray here we have black and right here the dial of the noise we turn that up and on the gray we also turn that up but not as much and i think i'm going to make this a bit lighter 
be like slightly lighter and make sure you do the noise again and that's how you get the grade if you want to change the gradient direction you click on the layer and you click on the gradient tool and you just change the direction as however you please I'm going to put the highlight on the top and the darkest parts at the bottom and you can even change like the scale of it so I'm going to just do that um, if you want to be a little bit more involved you can do it the same color as like your base color but I'm just going to stick with this aluminum one um, that I already have as a style and I'm just going to remove the bevel emboss so if you do have that style make sure to take that off next I go to here we go color birth at 50% um, let's see if this one looks better. Um, no. <laughs> let's see if I can change it to have a better looking aluminum look. Oh, let me just change a gradient to being like this. Let me zoom out to the gradient. I can fix the gradient. It usually looks better when the gradient is pretty dominant. So let me just angle it upwards like that. And that looks pretty good, to me at least. Next, after we do that, we go to the original rounded rectangle. We go to layer effect and we're going to do inner shadow. Or inner glow depending on what one which one you want and we're gonna go and we're gonna increase the radius um, we're gonna change the color to green because black shadows don't look that well um, and so we're gonna just go for like a gray green color so we have that you can dabble in how much you want that you can also put noise on this I don't recommend it and there's angles but the angles don't matter because you don't have offset then we're gonna go to the donut again and we're not going to change it to inner we're gonna actually change it to um, pillow and we're just gonna turn it down sorry no we're gonna keep it inner <laughs> I don't know why I said that we're gonna go to donut control V go a little bit bigger go down Fill it, go to swatches, go to back to the default green, and we're gonna go emboss pillow. Sorry, you don't want it bigger, you want it the same size. And so this just allows you to independently manipulate like the shadows on the button and then like the shadows of the inset of the button. So I'm just gonna tone down the radius a little bit and see where I want the highlights. I like having the highlights relatively like more apparent looking. So let's just turn down the radius as well as turn on the highlights. And so now the button kind of looks like it's in the thingy. Next, we're going to place a file. I'm gonna use this as a placeholder and we're gonna put that there and we're gonna put it right under everything let me remove the erase layer oh sorry another thing you can do is you can take this control c control v make sure you have an original copy of it take this connect it with this if you have two shapes and you go to draw geometry, you can subtract them and then that literally becomes the shape. So now I have like this shape I can put anywhere and that, the reason why I control C control V this is so that I can also apply it to here. Don't press shift, press control on your other layer to select both geometry subtract and you also have that. Oh, it's because it went all the way over there. And then put it back in the place that it's supposed to be. And now you have 
an iPod. We're gonna make this smaller and now you have a picture in your iPod. If you want to make a song like play on your iPod, you're gonna go and you're going to go to your Sorry, these are not. You're gonna go, you're gonna go here. Press shift for a perfect square. I'm just gonna edit that right there. Color, you can just go white. Yeah, let's do black so we can see what we're doing. And we can put it right here and that would be like our little album. We're gonna go to text. I usually use like a basic one. Recently I've been using Se se segway? Segoy? Sego? I don't know how to say it. And I just put song name. I am in all caps. And this is really tiny. Let's just put this in 30. I put song name, then artist, press tab, I mean enter, then the artist name. And then click the two by, you know, shift click. If you right click, there's an alignment and there's a align center, align middle. So I align to the middle. Why is, why did it break? Okay. And so now it's centered to that. And then if you click both of them, you can just center it both to the middle of that. And so you have that going on next we're going to make a play bar so we get the rectangle tool i go from edge to edge and i make it about that thick um depending on your style you can round the corner so that it looks like a complete circular rounding um control c control v uh most things are like light gray when they're filled. And so I'm just gonna do that um, right there. So a lighter gray with a darker gray on top of it kind of looks like that is filled up. I'm gonna do a darker gray. And so that could be like your time bar for the song. Then you add another text on top or on bottom depends on how far you want it. This is going to be smaller, so I'm going to do about halfway, so maybe 16. Um, I can do 2, 37, or 36. Control C, Control V. Out of four songs last me four minutes, 428. And I just kind of center them at the edge, not center them, align them with the edge of whatever. And so you have, oh, that's tiny. Oh my God, that is so tiny. I did not notice how tiny that was. I'm gonna put them 24, okay. And that one's also tiny, okay. Let's make it a little bit bigger. There you go. Move it a little bit down. Move it a little bit down. And boom. And there you go. You have your little thing. So to add any album picture, you go to just get an album picture. I guess I'll just use this one. Place it in. Scale it. Let's say your album picture is like not the right size or you need it cropped. You go to the rectangle that you made. You take your picture. You place it over the rectangle on the name right here. Don't do this. I do this often, does not work. Put it on the name and it crops it to the shape. And that's how you do it. That's how you kind of make the little artist thing. So that's how you make an iPod in Affinity Photo. It's not like the most polished one. I think this one kind of looks better, but it's the same process. You can do it any dimension you want. You can. If you really wanted to, you could go down here and make an iPod Nano, which does not exist, which I can just show you. I did make an iPod Nano right there. 
and you just skip the whole screen part. And that's kind of it. That's how you make an iPod in Affinity Photo. You can also go to your document, make it transparent, and I did not add a background to there, but to add a background, just put in a rectangle, put it in white, and just put that right here. Where do I want that? Right here. I want it over here. Um, right there. Make sure you turn off your erase layer if you want to do that. I usually just go file. I, I select the whole thing. File, export. Um, you can you can export it 3000 by 3000. That's just the workspace I work on. But you can do selection area. Export. Green iPod. And you will get it directly sized to the image like that anyways that's it that's all i got you can play around with it fiddle with it put it on anything you want all right bye bye